Live from beautiful Coors Field here in Denver, Colorado, an NL West matchup on the show. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers going up against the Colorado Rockies. First pitch coming your way next. So just about set now. Today's starter for Colorado, Kyle Freeland. What should we keep an eye on here? He's had his ups and downs in his career as his ERA is just over four. But this is a guy that's not afraid. He's going to take the ball. He's going to go out there and give it his best. All right, ready to get underway. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Miguel Rojas. Swing and a miss. And we are underway in Denver. First pitch, 640. Oh, one down. Swing and a miss. Ugly swing right there. The high fastball, particularly for young hitters, can be hard to lay off of because you see it so well at eye level, but it's really hard to catch up and get that top hand to work on time. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. Now it's J.D. Martinez. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. There's a strike. Back-to-back -back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. In the air, out to center. Nice grab on the run. Out number two. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Swinging a hot bat in the series. He's got seven base hits coming in. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Here's your one. Swings through that. This okay. guy's pounding the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. And takes low for ball one. It's a good take. He pitched yesterday, Number and we'll see him once again. And here is Andy Pajes. And first offering is fouled off. Yeah, there's the strike. That fastball, even though it's up, that's the velocity you want to go after. Low 90s, a lot better than trying to hit the high 90s. On the ground to third. On to first. And that is that. And here's the veteran outfielder, Charlie Blackman. The wind of the pitch. To the right side, and it's through for a hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff knock. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. I'm amazed at his ability to pull his hands inside and actually square that baseball off. That pitch was off the plate. 
so tough to get the barrel to anything in there. Kicks and deals. And it's even up. Oh. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer yeah. it. Next offering is in for a strike. And he deals. Hit on the ground might be two. Over to Taylor. On to Freddie. Double play. I think there's always something pretty about watching a 5-4-3 double play get turned. I mean, just seeing the ball whipped around the diamond with quickness and accuracy, that was nice. And here is C.J. Crone. Didn't play in the day game yesterday, so he should be fresh for this one. That one's in there, 0-1. The wind and the pitch. Strike two. He finds himself oh, in a tough it. situation early. Just got to try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. Right, right through there. Got him. That's the third out. Welcome back at the play. Will Smith. The wind to kick the pitch. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. Movement in the bullpen. Denelson Lamette getting ready to come on for Bud Black. Keller getting loose as well. This one high in the air to left center. Bryant trying to get there. He's got it. And there's one down. Now the left fielder, Trace Thompson. And that's just foul. Second inning here, no score. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. A plate umpire, Earl Hendricks. Yeah, with Hendricks, bro, kind of interesting. He's a good, consistent umpire, but you do hear that he kind of favors one side of the plate more than the other. So it's really hard to know for sure, but I think that usually it has to do something with where he sets up prior to each pitch. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Here's Max Muncy, that funky Muncy. Muncy hits one in the air. Gritchick sizing it up. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Dodger. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the second. Ryan McMahon steps to the plate. And first offering is fouled off. Even though Walker Bueller went to Vanderbilt, he hails from Lexington, Kentucky, and so he's a big Kentucky basketball fan. Sneaks through, base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Love how he let that ball travel. That trusted his hands. Oh, nice job of going the other way. Here's Chris Bryant now. Enters this one with... Here's the pitch. Runner goes. And first offering is fouled off. Grounder might be two. Throw on to Freeman. That's one out in the bottom of the second. Randall Gritchick now. Well, the offense really struggled last night. I mean, it was awful. So I, I think picking up a run right here, that's going to get him going a little bit. The next pitch no, misses. And the count even one and one. They say it went. One and two the count. Here's a one-two. And that's going to roll to the wall. Pulls into third safely as they jump ahead and run scores. Alan Trejo digs in now. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Martinez moves towards it. And he makes the catch. Runner tags from third. He scores on the sack fly, and they lead by two. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. Elias Diaz stands in here. 
Tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. In the air, foul off first. Freeman makes the grab, and that's the third out. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. We head on now to the top of the third. Too much but still looking to drive it and that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double here's JD Martinez this to third and Martinez is out Freddie Freeman up to the dish he was walked intentionally his first time that one misses one and oh Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like, he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. That misses the zone. Oh. Two balls, no strikes. Appears they're working around him with the base open, Singy. Well, you know these 2-0 counts, Boo. They're just not what they used to be, and we sound like old guys when I say that. But ultimately, this is a strategic game, and you expect to see this type of approach by the pitcher in this situation. The throw is wild, and it gets away. And he'll move up to third on the throwing error. The back, the right field. Andy Pajas, the oh. next to hit. Grounded out his first time up. Swing and a miss. That's strike oh, one. Well, a come and get me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. And now the count is even. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Not sure what's going on right there. No chance. Probably have some uh, funny texts from his buddies after the game. The one two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Righty delivers. lined out towards center pulls it down and he makes the catch and that'll do it but they'll pick up a couple of runs here both coming on this two run double 2-2 two -two game watching major league baseball well after scoring runs this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning get that hot team back in there to swing the bats Back to the mound. And it gets by him. Lawler on at first. Nobody out. And that one fouled off. 
with two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Next pitch That's is inside, ball. and the count is one and two. Ripped on a line. Pajes puts the squeeze on that one, and there's one down. Now here's Nolan Jones. He hit it to a double play his first time up. Ball one, no strikes. Jones, 24 years old, and he was a second round pick back in 2016. Next pitch downstairs, and the count is 2-0. Oh. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. He makes the grab, and there are two outs. No, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. CJ Crone digging in for the Rockies. His first at bat was a strikeout. That's out to center field. Pulls up, and that's in there for a knock. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Well, maybe that will end up getting him going. Yeah, he really simplified there, kept his shoulders square to the plate and wasn't trying to overswing. I think that's the key for him to have success through the rest of this series. And now Ryan McMahon. That's ripped into the outfield. Stretches out and hauls it in. Two left for Colorado, and this game is still tied at two and two. set for the start of the inning. The batter now will be Will Smith. Will Smith. And the pitch. Crushed in the air. Left center field. Way back there. No doubt about it. He circles the bases. His 23rd of the year. It's 3-2. He put a charge into that one. That was a lightning swing right there, no doubt about it. If you hit the ball that far, you know we're going to check the numbers. Let's go back to the nerd herd at StatCast. That was impressive. Yeah, wow. I mean, they don't hit him much farther than that, boo. Everything's got to come together to hit a ball like that. And he really showed us something right there. Trace Thompson steps to the plate for the Dodgers. And he swings and misses, and, and it's nothing in one. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Got the bat going too soon at strike two. Two really good back-to-back -back sliders. Now in an 0-2 count, he's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere he wants. On the ground to third. Fires across that's the diamond, out. and that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. Max Muncy at the dish. 0 for 1 with a fly out. Swings through that one. Oh, and one. Now there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. Swings and crushes one. Right field, way back, and gone. Max Muncy leaves the yard. His 34th of the season. And they boost their lead. It's 4-2. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. So the Rockies turn the ball over to a new arm, Lucas Gilbert. Coming on to face a righty bat, and they've had quite a bit of success against him this year. So one out, nobody on. Chris Taylor will hit next. Not close with that one, and it's 1-0.
Swing and a miss. One and one. Slipped off balance that time. Wow. Good luck catching up to that one. And now the lefty splits the plate. That's strike two. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Now two away. Gavin Lux steps to the plate for the Dodgers. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Just missed. The 1-1. One, one. That's a ball. Good one. And that's downstairs and outside. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. Swing and a miss. Three and two now. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. But the long ball was worked. Back here in Denver, ready to go. Bottom four. Here's the left fielder, Chris Bryant. That one hooked foul. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. 0-2 oh as he waves at that two. one. Well, he just threw that fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Righty to the plate. And a swing and a miss. Two strikes, the sort of pitch you're hoping for. A bit of a mistake, and I'd say in a very hittable location, but clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through. Next to hit, Randall Gritchick. Pitch is in there, and that's strike one. And that one clips the corner. Ripped to short. To first. Already two gone here in the home four. Well, that looks routine, but it hasn't been so easy for this club defensively this year. And you got to make those routine plays behind the pitcher. Helps him to get more comfortable and move through this ballgame. Trejo in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. Next offering is in for a strike. 0-2 oh, count, oh, both pitches on the inside part of the plate. Hitter is thinking, I don't want to get beat here. This is a good time for something off speed away. And here it comes. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Right-hander kicks, deals. Trejo tries to hold up, appeal to first, did not go. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. And he can't quite get there, it's a foul ball. To the right side. Taylor whips it to first. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning. Rockies are down quietly. Still down by a count of four to two. Back here at Coors Field. Top five, John Shelby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Miguel Rojas. And a pitch. 
gets him to chase after that one. You know, these Dodgers putting together some really good at bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. It looked to me like they really wanted to get to the starter early, get him out of the game before he settles in. So I'd say mission accomplished. The pitch. Foul ball still 0 and 2. The pitch. Line drive base hit. Still able to come through behind in the count right there. He got that front foot down and pitch recognition was on point. Pretty impressive for an 0 2 count. Here is J.D. Martinez. That one ran inside, almost got him. That's in there. That's strike one. And that's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation, runner on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And you swing it. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there. On its way. Gone. J.D. Martinez takes him deep, his 14th of the year. It's 6-2. Let's break out the stat cast numbers. It's singing. It tells us this home run was projected at more than 450 feet. Yeah, and not many players can hit home runs as far as this one. That's a special feeling, and I'm sure he was giggling a little bit as he was jogging around the bases. That was one heck of a swing he put on the baseball. A new arm into the game, the righty, Justin Lawrence. He's into the game with the bases empty. And now the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Out to short. One away here in the fifth. Now batting, the right fielder, Andy. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Andy Pajes. Swing and a miss. And that is strike one. Lace to right center, base hit. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. Oh, he throws it away. And he's going to make it up to second base as that's a two-base error. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. And it's second with one away. Will Smith getting ready to hit. He's already homered here in this one. And he swings and misses, and oh it's one. nothing at one. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Not a swing you want to watch again. Man, it's second. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. No need to deviate from the slider right there. The hitter just not making the adjustment. He came at him with the breaking ball, pitch after pitch, and that at bat, and evidently there was no answer for it. Thompson at the plate with two away, swings through that one. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher maybe double up on a pitch. This guy will throw it three times, four times in a row because hitters just can't lay off of it. Oh, and two. Strike two. and misses it's a strikeout two run shot for the Dodgers this inning it's now 6-2 and welcome back ready to go for the last half of the inning and here's the catcher Elias Diaz. Oh, Diaz. Diaz. 
Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. And now the shortstop, Jordan Lawler. Picked up a base hit to center his first time off. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. But all these Rockies doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. The numbers tell us they're averaging more than a hit every inning, and they've only struck out twice, so they keep finding ways to put their bat on the ball. Just a simple now ground ball it. the other way. They had eyes on Charlie. it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Block, just let man. the ball travel, put the ball in the play, and just hope it finds a hole. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ball game. Next offering is in for a strike. Stays alive. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, but it worked. He got the swing and miss, and I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. Jones, the next to hit, takes ball one. Misses off the plate. Two balls, no strikes to count. Runners at first and second with one gone. The pitch. Got him. And now two gone. Now bad. So first and second with two outs. C.J. Crone digs in now. That yeah. one finds the zone. Strike one. Two. And that's through there for a strike. Perhaps not oh, quite you. ready to hit. Ryan McMahon, the next to hit. In there at the knees. That's strike one. The strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So a good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four home hitter up. Here's the 0-2. And he dodges oh. that fastball. Runner at second, two down. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Next offering is foul back. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Crone is waved home. Now a long throw home. And he's out. Cut down and that ends the inning. Well, it's pretty difficult to throw a base runner out at the plate with two outs on a base hit to the outfield, but an excellent job of coming up with it, getting rid of it quickly, and throwing on the money. That is great technique from start to finish. Nice job to end the inning. Welcome back, top six. Stepping in the long ball threat, Max Muncy. And a pitch. That one misses. Ball, ball one. Lawrence, in his second season, he features a sinker, a slider, and he works in a four seamer. Swing and a miss. One and, one. and it's one and one. Swings through that one. one All two. sliders so far in this at bat to get ahead in the count and clearly shows there was a game plan in mind for how to attack him in the box. Got him swinging. Usually when you see several pitches, you're going to get at least one that you might be able to do something with, but they didn't exactly challenge him in any way right there and really they just used his aggressiveness against him. I don't think he even got a pitch in the zone. No, that's a good point, Siggy. He goes down on strikes, but not a single pitch was actually in the strike zone. 
Next offering is down low. Well, they've kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come, but you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against him. Back to back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. Hammer, base hit. Taylor races for second. And that's a two bagger. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. So, a man aboard. Next is the Dodger DH, Gavin Lux. He's 0 for 1. Up the middle, Trejo. And he's out. Yeah. Showed us right there why he's considered one of the best middle infielders in the sport. That's always a tough play going up the middle on the backhand. But what really made this play happen was that quick release, smooth exchange, and that was as smooth as it gets. And it had to be with the wheels going down the line. Swing and a miss. Oh, and it's 0-2. Well, he's been aggressive right out of the box, and a smart pitcher is going to play off of that, especially when you get to two strikes. Pitch misses there. It's a ball and two strikes. Right-handed reliever just missed. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. That's a base hit, run scores. Comes through with the RBI. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. In there for strike one. Martinez, an all-star a season ago, a member of the 1,000 hit club, he joined the team as a free agent. Strike two. Well, you got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss and get through this at bat. This one in the dirt. Tag safe at second. And good hustle to move up. That's a wild pitch. Rojas at second with two down. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Down the left field line, could be extra bases. Rojas headed for the plate. He will score, and it's 8-4. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. And here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. So clutch, you could argue that he's been this team's MVP this year. A dive. Nice stop. Over to first. Nicely done for the out. Well, that's cat-like reflexes over there at the hot corner. Nice job of making that play and ending the inning. Bottom of the six. So in now for Colorado, Chris Bryan. No left fielder. Here comes a pitch. Bryan. Swing and a pop-up. Muncy drifts towards it, hauls it in, and there's one away. Randall Griffin.
Left field, way back there. That one is back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot, turned around, and made a nice catch. Ground ball up the middle. Rojas with the throw to first. Gets him easily, ends the inning. Nothing doing for the Rockies. They're unable to make a dent in an 8-4 deficit. Now on the bump, Brad Keller. He has a great slider with tons of movement. So here's the cleanup hitter, Andy Pajas. One for three. The pitch. Not close with that one, but he gets him to go after it. Man, that was pretty gross right there. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. I think he could have rolled that to the plate. Guy was going to swing because he was swinging before the ball was even out of his hand. Looks like he's lost up at the plate right now. Next offering misses, one and, and it's 1-2. and two. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. One out. And up to the plate is Will Smith. He's already homered in this game. Slow roller to third. McMahon. And two away to start the seven. Deceptive slider right there. Stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front. Rolled over it. Put it on the ground. Thompson at the plate now as he chases after that one. You tie a guy up like that, you're feeling like you are in command. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 oh, now. Now a screamer into the outfield. Bryant makes the catch. That is the inning. Doing for the offense that time. Back here in Denver, set for the last half of the seventh. Here's the catcher, Elias Diaz. Fouled off, he was late. Bowling one now. Foul ball. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0-2 count. Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone. Keep that leadoff man off first base. Lawler stands in now and watches strike one. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. And puts the squeeze on that. One down. The right fielder. Here's Charlie Blackman. Charlie Blackman. There's the strike. No ball. One strike. Next offering is fouled back. Wings and crushes one. Right field, way back, and gone. Well, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news, and all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. And strike two. Oh, and two. Still only one out here in the inning. down looking CJ Crone digging in for the Rockies that one's in there on one well in an 0-0 count not every strike is a good strike for a hitter I like the plate discipline there fastball for a strike 
And it's 0-2. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. He's there. He's got it. And that's the inning. Chuck Nasty goes yard for the Rockies. It's now 8 Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eight. Tyler Kinley. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. Muncy in now, takes ball one off the plate. The 1 0. And that one wrapped foul. Kicks and fires. Hard hit, right side. In plenty of time to first. First out in the top of the eighth. The batter number three. Chris Taylor now, one for two. Taylor. And that's outside. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Pierce Johnson getting loose out there. And the 1 0. Swings through that one for strike one. one. So now one and two. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle two strikes. And now it's even up. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. In the dirt. Tosses to first. Taylor out of the play. You know, Boone, you often think a slider is more for that horizontal movement, but most of the good ones have both vertical depth and that horizontal movement, and that's what we saw right there. Good drop on the break and got him to swing over the top. Swing and a tapper. Fires over to Crone, and that is that. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Star Grotterol. Definitely a guy that pounds the strike zone, makes hitters earn their way on base, and rarely yeah. gets in trouble because of free passes. McMahon leading things off and takes a strike. Strike right. two. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. And a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Everything came together for him. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. The tying run at the plate. Ah. In for a strike. And the count is 0-2. McMahon aboard here at first with nobody out. Got him looking. And one gone. Next to him for the Rockies, Randall Gritchick. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap, but you know, at the very least, if you can find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. And the 0-2. Smoked on the ground a second. Good feed, that's one. And that's two. Well, the second baseman made that one look easy. Great feed to the shortstop. Shortstop completes the play. They get out of a jam, and they end the inning. Here's Johnson on a pitch out of the pen here. 
He last pitched two days ago. Miguel Rojas at the plate. Good swing out of him last time. Ripped a liner in the center. Swing and a miss. It's 0-1. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. Fooled on that pitch, got a little anxious, and now in a two-strike count, he's going to have to widen out his stance, choke up on the bat, and really make sure he has pitch recognition before pulling the trigger. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. And here is J.D. Martinez. Going one. Johnson, 31 years old, and he's playing today in his home state of Colorado. Stirring in the Colorado bullpen, Phillips Valdez. The hard throwing righty is up and loose. 0 oh, 2 as he waves at that one. And ball one. 0 oh, 2 pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. One down, base is empty. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. The high heat too much on that one. And up next for Los Angeles, Freddie Freeman. And he was nowhere near that one for strike one. Good eye right there. That's towards center. Gritchick drifts towards it. Makes the catch inning over. So they go back here at Coors Field. Here's the second baseman, Alan Trejo. Second baseman. The pitch. Gets the outside corner with that one. And there's a the ball. Back up the middle and it gets through. Singy, that's a start. Yeah, as soon as that ball got through, I could see down in the dugout, guys pumping their fists. They know that they got a chance in this ball game. Diaz in the box now, takes strike one. Nobody out, runner at first. And that just that hit, misses. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close that's as it gets. 2-2 Two -two now. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. 2-2 Two -two now. And now the count filled up three and two. Well, on this count, runner not known for his speed, but I think you gotta put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boog. Pahez settles underneath it, brings it in, and there's one down. Now that's your Jordan side. Lawler will hit next. Lawler. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Getting a little frustrated with the strike zone. Next <laughs> offering is in for a strike. And the right-hander deals. He goes down looking. Here's Chuck Nasty. Hit an absolute tape measure shot last time up. Right down to shoot. Strike one. Cold night like tonight. Last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what. You're going to try to catch things out front, so off-speed pitches may be a good complement to that fastball. The next offering oh. misses. Yeah, the count, one and two. One, that two. turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. No, that missed. That's and it's ball. even up. Two-run game, two. a two away here in the bottom of the ninth. Got him, and that's the ball game. Well, the goal when you go on the road is to at least play 500 ball. Well, they've been winning series. They win this one here. 
and you've got yourself a little bit of breathing room, but you want to keep the same mindset. Let's go into the next place, and let's take that series again. Final score of 8-6 to six in this one for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Shambi saying so long. First for the victorious Dodgers, eight runs, nine hits, no errors. They left four men on.